Hello and welcome back to the series. Today we're going to be covering commands, events, effects and expressions. We've got no time to waste so yeah, let's head straight to it. The thing with script is, for all of your code you have to have some sort of trigger for it. And in script the two ways of doing this are commands and events. Also periodic events but they're the same thing. We're going to be covering them separately though because people usually get confused with them. First things first, we'll start off with commands. Uh, commands always follow the same structure, give or take a few optional syntaxes. So for starts, we need to write command, then a space, followed by a slash, which is the optional part, and then the name of the command. Mine's gonna be called hello. We need to finish off the line with a colon. We need to tab out and add an indent. This is very important, because uh, script is very dependent on indents. Uh, if you don't have indents in the correct position, it's not just not gonna work properly. Then we need to write trigger, colon, tab again, and then for this example, we're going to write send hi to player. Now, if you go in game and write slash sk space reload and the name of our script, which is tutorial, you can see it up here. Enter, you can see successfully reloaded the tutorial. Now, we write slash hello, it should output hi to us, which is what we expected. Say you want to add a permission to your command, you just write permission above the trigger. It's important you put these in the right position, or this is not going to work. So, permission, colon, and then the permission node. You have staff. Dot hello. Uh, if someone doesn't have permission, you want to tell them they don't have permission by doing this. So we do permission message, permission denied. Now we go up in game, SQ reload scripts, which is another way of reloading. It just reloads all the scripts at once. I'm gonna de opt myself. So now if I run slash hello, it should tell us permission denied. However, if I opt myself and rerun it, I can do it just fine. You can do more things like this with commands. For example, if you want to add aliases, which is just other ways of writing the command, slash hi, go back, reload again, and do slash hi, it should run the same. Uh, also, you can do cooldowns, so cooldown, colon, uh, five seconds. Same as permission message, you can write a cooldown message. Please wait for the cooldown. Go back, reloading game, hello, and again, Please wait for the cooldown. We wait five seconds. Let me tap it again. Oh, I rushed it a bit. It says hi. There we go. Next, we're going to be addressing events. So events are basically just, they're listening for stuff happening in game. And then when it triggers, it'll do something. So for this one to do on jump, which is an example of an event, this will only work if your server is running PaperMC. So if you're running spigot, um, it won't work. We'll do on jump, colon, no trigger this time, because it's an event, not a command. We'll do send. You jumped to the player. It's, it's important that you specify who you're sending it to or it won't work unless it assumes a default value. Uh, so now that's done, we can do escalator scripts. Now when we jump, I'll say you jumped. Finally, we have periodic events. So these are the same as events, but they just happen every set amount of time. So an example of this will be every five seconds. Same as events, so there's no trigger, just one, intent, one indentation. It's important that you remember these indentations or the code won't work. Do send five seconds has elapsed. So unlike on jump, there's no play you can send it to because there's no player associated with this event. So for this one, do send to all players, which just sends the message to all of the online players on the server currently. So wait a bit, and you should see that it'll send five seconds has elapsed. Say you're a bit sick of this, but you don't want to delete the code. One thing you can do, you can do SK disable tutorial. And now when we do it, none of this will trigger, but the code is still there. And when you want to enable it again, you can do SK enable tutorial. Next on the list would be effects. Now, if you go back and look at the previous code, you'll see we've already used an effect twice, which would be the send effect. Uh, effects essentially just ways of doing stuff like executing the code. Uh, different to expressions because expressions typically retrieve or allow you to modify the value or something. Just for the sake of it, we're going to write a second example using an effect just to make it more clear. This one's going to be command slash free helmet. Uh, same format as last time, like we said, and we do equip player with diamond helmet. This essentially does as it says and gives the player a diamond helmet. Let's go reload scripts. We'll do slash free helmet. Now, if we look at our head, we can see we've got a diamond helmet on it. The thing with script is there tends to be multiple ways of doing the same thing. So for this one example, a quick play with diamond helmet, you can also do set helmet of player to diamond helmet. Or you can do set slot, I believe 36 of player to diamond helmet. 
When writing script, it's up to you to choose the most efficient method. Luckily, in this case, there's not much difference. Last but not least, we have expressions. Just like with the effects, we're gonna write another example saying command slash how many players are online. Obviously, you're not gonna name commands like this, but this is just a tutorial, so it doesn't matter. Uh, trigger, we'll do send. There are currently size of all players online to player. It's quite a lot to digest here, so we're just gonna go over it now. When we use percentage signs inside of a text, this means we are trying to display the value of the expression inside of this said text. So now if we go in game and do SK reload tutorial and we run the command how many players are online, it'll say there are currently one online. If we go back here and we remove the expression signs and we do reload again and we run the command, it'll just say size of all players. Something that I would recommend for you to do now would be to go to this website. This is essentially just a documentation page of all the things in script. You want to go to the search bar, type in script, and then select the first option. This is so we don't get any, any of the other add-ons. So all of the syntaxes we get here are just going to be from the raw vanilla script. Then for this first case, we're going to do effects. And now you can just search through all of this code and see all the things you can do with script. Now we can remove effects once you're done and type expressions. This is really useful to get you familiar with script and see all the things you can do. Once you've got more familiar with script, it'll be a good idea to come back here and do the same without the effects or the expressions filter. Just scroll down here and you can see all the added stuff like the conditions and the functions and stuff. That's all for this tutorial. Um, if you don't understand anything, just be sure to leave a comment and I'll be sure to uh, reply to it. Next episode, we're going to be covering conditions. So yeah, up to you there.